Fala galera, beleza? Aqui quem fala é Arte, seja bem-vindos a mais um vídeo aqui no canal. E no vídeo de hoje são os melhores momentos dos jogos profissionais de CS. Eu sei que você curte, mas 70% das pessoas que assistem os vídeos aqui no canal todos os dias não são inscritos. É isso mesmo. Então, não se esquece, se inscreve aqui no canal, deixa o like. E lembrando que dá muito trabalho trazer todos os dias os melhores momentos, tudo mastigadinho pra você assistir. É bom, né? Então, deixa de enrolação, vamos ao que interessa, são os melhores momentos. Fui. Couldn't get it done. He'll have one final chance. And it is you who sets the stage with us. Abu Dhabi makes some noise! Let's go! We got Inferno up first in the rematch. Apex smoked out of library. Suddenly Zywoo is going to feel like he is too exposed. So understandably dropping towards pit. His ghoulies... They go down with nothing. Flamesy from inside of the site dropped out. We do get Apex with a wonderful peek out from Library with a player breathing down his back in Brokey. He gets out and ahead of the hit. Looking for a timing on the smoke. It could be his head, it is. He gets domed by Brokey. Oh, good trade back from Spinks though, frozen into the clutch in the first round of the Grand Finals. And he tucks it in. And they've lost track of him, but there's two of them. And they're both fully health, and they've both hit hard so far. This event night's Kush! Glock up close! Oh. Falls to the hands of Spinks. It's Vitality. And both of them kind of going through the same motions, implementing new stars. Flamesy, falling back, done after the one. Oh, Speaking of Frozen, he does get his kill, and Apex doesn't like the amount of health he's left over, so they fall back 2-2 to the site. Gonna have to charge through it. Rain down to just measly points of health, and Spinks is a single kill. Remember, 10 health here for Apex. If he wants to charge down this bomb, it's little bits of HP, and he can't stop it. So we've got a force by bomb down post plant for phase, and they're not able to get off site. Kerrigan trades right back, and Zywoo's up next, oh. there to take him both. The one who casts the greatest shadow for this squad, and now he's just tucked down behind box. They get really deep before any CT starts to try and pull them back. Beautiful delay here, and one player out oh. the smoke gets called, but they do clear two, Ooh. then three. Frozen's double, but the smoke comes up, and now Frozen stuck inside sight, goes for the bomb plant, gun comes out. There's a gap on the side of this, I think. Zywoo presses alongside, oh. sure enough, just coming out and catching Frozen. will catch a half health flames off guard, yes! Kerrigan wastes no time getting into the oh. site, Froki instant headshot. Oh, just like that, that B-site crumbles. Yeah, that's it, that's an off... And uh, Kerrigan can do it too, you know. This is FaZe showing the range more than just a game plan team. Go, go, go! CS, go fast! Let's roll. Thank you. Counter terrorists win. Yeah, but nobody... Oh my god, they're trying it again, but guns out this time? Oh, yeah, they... Okay. <laughs> They're Not just this more time. careful. Zywu will miss a shot. Oh. And Spinks is instantly dead. But Messi's position with this SMG, he could just peek off the side of it. No second kill out of him. Zywu in the pocket. The most dangerous man in the server. And Apex has come through already. Oh missed quick scope. Desperate bomb plant. Zywu's burning. That's big. Almost dead. Four health left. All he has to work with. We're going to get a slow wrap as Rops looks for the impact. He can... And Zywu, he can sense him, but he can't see him. Rops comes wide, gets the clear. And now the last CT is slow to the approach. Flamesy off of middle. Both of these T's for phase in the pocket. He can give him full info, at least. It's going to have to be sick headshots coming out of Flames here. A close approach. The lead is on the oh. line. Phase tie at three. Oh man, are Phase going to have more fight? This Perfect space creation here from Kerrigan. He has the CT player scrambled. Suddenly Apex versus Kerrigan and Spawn. I mean, I mean, they're looking for him yeah. now. He was, I, his team wasn't ready to exec, but he's broken apart the structure a little bit. He was so fast, but as is Sphinx getting back into his slot towards this A site, if they think they can just overwhelm, the numbers are here for the defense. Mezzi pulling Rain off of the approach. Now half of the pack still stays back, but Rops will hold the front line. And it's man advantage CTs for now, but it's delayed. Yeah, they need to be prude about their rotations and still get information, and they do do that, but Brokey trades back. There we go. An op kill for Brokey. We've been waiting to see it, and now he finds his mark. And you can see Flames, he's looking for the arch timing. They don't know if the, the lurk is coming in, but 45 seconds, and time is limited here for FaZe. They're going to have to throw caution to the wind. And this will bring them straight to the crosshair of Flames. This should be an easy pushover. Sure enough, 
Bomb hits the deck. Second one's dead. The dink set him up. Yeah. They Clean shot. From info. They have pit control right now. This feels like it's FaZe walking into the meat grinder. But there's a chance for Rain to bring it back. A duel that he loses. Sphinx ready for another, but Froki gets the better of him. It's a single man advantage, but it's 20 seconds. Dire straits. And Apex remains in sight. As Mezzi looks to hold the line, Froki's fixated on him. He hit him through the wall. Mezzi's damage. Again? Froki, two shots through the wall Again? and another on the site. Just like that, the opera makes the difference. But the round's not over. We've got Vitality nearby. Vitality pressed through, spotted out. Broki's in the open. Down he goes to his counterpart. No way Kerrigan can do this again. He shoots, oh. and Zywoo closes. Those two on form right now. We're going to get fireworks. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yes, we will. Frozen nullified in the opening seconds. And some pretty consistent 5v4s now coming out of Vitality towards the tail end of the CT half, much like versus Na'Vi. But it's off of the back of a Zywoo 12 and 4 start. B site closed. Nades too deep. How many Arrogant. smokes are we gonna go through in this game? He's doing it again. They're wait they're watching for pushes this time around. Surely it doesn't work out. Surely it doesn't work out. Apex senses it. Smoke starts to fade on the edge, gets a little squirrely. Another one goes down. The pack is right there. But Apex cools him off and takes the risk of running it back into the corner. I mean, sitting in front of the smoke here... Lurking in front of the smoke in a situation like this is maybe a liability. Like, they are, they are 5v3 up right now. They just, they just want to punish any risky plays that FaZe want to try to do. Ah, oh, but it's both sides of the brackets that get pinched, and then Apex comes around Ooh. and clears the board. Shut down on the B site by Zywoo, denied on... Looking back, I mean, it was a lot to do with Kerrigan trying to find lurks over and over again. And... I want to say, you know, not a real thorough game plan outside of that. They were just ready to follow up. And maybe they're happy about the fact that they got these four rounds. I'm not sure. Ooh, Rops, no trade off that. Rops and FaZe staring down the barrel of another four versus five. And you simply cannot be playing catch-up versus the likes of Vitality right now. This you is a team that's just playing such clean Counter-Strike. 45 is going to catch up with you sooner, sooner than later. Versus Vitality, best form right now. Best form in the world. Phase there. Sitting patiently. No re-aggressions as the clock ticks down, of course. There's no onus on Vitality to go and do something too quickly. But now they'll organize. Rops gets info on middle. Exec's coming. Rain loses his line of sight. Broke is ready to push through. Faze gotta do something crazy. And losing Rain in the bomb site. All of a sudden losing the little runway they had to work with. Frozen does manage to catch one on the CT cross. And then Rops wins his duel versus the Lurk on oh, A. Wait a second. Brokey's going over Coffins. Oh! oh. No. Brokey just like that. He sets it up. Flames peeking deep. And they didn't see him. Rops now holds the door. Oh. And it's Flames just like that to bring it back to the 1v1. It's Flames versus Frozen. And he's on top of the bomb. Halfway there already. He comes off of it because he hears the footsteps. This is, this is a song of ice and fire. And Flames goes back around to CT. Time on his side. Time decides. It's Flames to get the final lap. Oh, he has the final note. Flames wins this one. Huge and it's gap for Vitality to just slide straight through. Brokey, the beautiful okay. lineup. Easy does it. Then a peek off of the short side, but that end gets punished. It's Robs in the depths of the site, regaining vision, but losing his head as Flames knocks him out. Oh, man, that's it. That's all they get. They die in lane. They die on sight. Just goes to show you, they don't need Anubis, even though they're on a five-map win streak on that map. If I remember correctly... They still to their accomplishments and their consistency. Oh, okay. This is the last thing you need. Oh, oh come on. I heard that flames rise. CTP through and oh. wild blind. 
He goes ahead and slams down another. Nasty on the entry, a jumping AK headshot. They're already up 11-4, and he hits him while in the sky. You're kidding. You know, I'd feel bad if FaZe didn't get so many crazy shots just to kick this game off in Apex. Well, he wants in on the action. Oh, he's been so sharp as well. Wow. The flames he taken to the top of the scoreboard for Vitality on a succulent double entry. And, and that conversation, you know, Apex and, and Kerrigan, something Kerrigan is famous for. Every time he gets a new player, they, they do well right away, whether it's a stand-in or a new addition. And it has been great. Of course, he's in a grand final right now with Frozen, of course. His former teammate, to be fair, but still a new system and new roles for him. Apex has done that this year more than once. That's the thing, right? We, we sit here and praise Kerrigan for his... No eye contact, and maybe he'll forget. We saw Vitality take 10 rounds in a row versus Nobby. That was nine against Faze in the middle of the half. Oh! Just like that! What? Simply the best. On an AK, Zywoo comes oh. in with three. And it doesn't matter how great you may be, Mezzi, trying to put forth his best performance in the Vitality jersey. You will forever be in the shadow of the greatness that Lynn. is Zywoo. Spinks here to close it. And that is the reality of playing versus Vitality. Every single time you were against the most consistent four easy headshots for Zaiwu and another easy. Desk allude to Frozen under a microscope for me. Immediately, they go into the ramp. And we get Zaiwu taking a quick glance outer. All the greats love to play outside on Nuke. Zaiwu. He goes down empty-handed. Welcome to the match, Rain. Mm. Welcome to Grand Finals Sunday. Mezzi has lurked this whole time. Back B site gets an easy pickoff. And he's got support not far away as well. Just staying alive oh. here is excellent. The fact he drops a second player even better. Frozen suddenly left alone with no bomb and plenty of time to try and get crazy. Looking at a round like that is the perfect example of why we're seeing such better maps out of Mezzi. You know, he's never had a structure like this. He's never been comfortably in position at clock versus an exec that's coming to him with prophylaxis from the team where he's there early. Hold on, hold on, dude. Two are gushed. They have to, he has to get the bomb. That's the Downstairs, one thing. Downstairs with a low HP player sitting on it. Oh, goes ahead and hold on. This is taking way too long. Spinks. And the fact that he's also down to 20 HP, only 20 seconds on the clock. Frozen in black and red looking for gold. Just barely enough time to make this possible. They layer on top of one another, which means he could still do this. Frozen. Yeah. Oh, my God. How? Guns in for phase on the cross. Well-timed nade, but it doesn't actually blow open the smoke. That one will. And there's a player down here in Messi. Oh, nice headshot. My God, the push forward? <laughs> he goes up the stairs? Oh, my God. That's not how that's supposed to work. Yeah. Look at the CTs right now. They're top sight. Zywoo's in the open. Rob sees him. And that's nothing for Zywoo on the A-hold. But a missed Molotov misses. to heaven. Just let Apex take a quick glimpse. We've still got players downstairs, so Flames is going to have to try to find a way up then. There's a little delay here because Apex is trying to go back around for the main wrap where a smoke grenade's about to go down. Then that molly does find its mark up in heaven, which means Sphinx has been deterred for a little while. Bomb's ticking quick and Flames the only kid. Sphinx comes out from heaven, gets his. Brokey instant trade from behind the fence. Nice crossfire with rocks there towards Hut. Oh! A headshot on top to seal the deal. It's about time we got a little Rops. It goes unchecked for now. Same path from Rain, though, as last round in oh, front of the red box. He does see it. Ugh. He's going to sniff him out. Now, Sphinx gets some damage in, but on the reload, he gets pushed. Rops just barrels out of hut with a teammate and the Heaven oh. player's dead. Nicely tethered there between Brokey, Rops, and Kerrigan. Yeah, crank that pace, phase. Maybe those two moments coalesce perfectly. Maybe they knew they could elicit the spam. Either way, it's a perfect punish. Without anybody knowing. Now the push forward can cap it, but you hear the flicker of the scope and the first kill comes down. Nice! Gets two frags, and they can join hands now with Rops. He's inside of the ramp. And the rotator's gonna have no idea. He's lurking. There's no idea for the ramp player. Apex is already dead. Only flings to come out with more. Mezzi and 
Zywu. But that's what happens. Phases IGL. You know, we can call it luck, but that's what happens when you create luck. When you put. Kerrigan starting to pick up the tempo here. CT spotted on the smoke, but we've got a long range angle here from Zywu. They lose two players outer. Phase on fire and evening out. Yeah. Uh, more spotted outside. That's massive information. They're going to feel insecure about the fact they don't have lobby. But it's a deagle with Mezzi to try and hold the cross. Oh. Zywu easily shapes Brokey off. It flings. It's a one and done. So rain into the clutch. He posts two kills in an instant. And with a flash wide, he's got time to play this however he damn well chooses. But Zywu has been the end all of so many players. Yeah. Emet on A denied. Inferno wasn't his map, but it's still a great day for okay. Rain. But Zywu will deny it. The clutch denier. It has to be. His support far off. Frozen comes wide. Apex keeps all his health. Flames picks up the upper kill. And Brokey able to answer back in the bomb site. Drops plays on a classic position. Posted above on full display for any kind of a ramp retake. The CTs aren't coming in. No way. A shot through the doorway, Rops off the top rope. He knows their approach, but until they exit, he can hit them. Zywu the first, oh. Sphinx. It's a beautiful split between the other two, yes. and Vitality closed the gap. It's perfect spacing and perfect pacing. That final step. This is an incredibly high level position right now. The passive setup, but a lot of information gained. Who gets nervous first? This is a game of chess. Raindrops make sound, and Mezzi's on high alert. Easy pickup for Mezzi from the corner. Frozen's up next, and he's got his name again. Now the threat of that A hit is real, but in reality, we've got Bomb downstairs, and Spink's still committing to inside of Lobby. You've got Zybo in the back corner, peeking wide, oh. dropping bodies, as he does, one after another. And with Decon swung, now the T's know that there's two down here. Zywu's gonna try to close that distance into Brokey. He's coming for it. Battle the Ops, he shuts the door in his face, holds the trigger, T's cannot what? get it. You are not allowed to cross this line. No time, no round, we're tied. Utility rumbling around Apex. Oh. Kerrigan gets an easy peek into the site. Rain, heal, best Apex. That Spinks flash is work. stuck in the corner, he's got a teammate inside of the hut. But Flames takes some damage. Luckily here for Vitality, it's Rops on only 9 HP. Oh, oh! But that 9 health makes a world of difference. Oh. Barrel spotted, and Zywu's still in the mix. And we always say it, as long as Zywu's alive, then Vitality's chance right there with him. Nade to the wrong mark. Rops up top. He's hiding with his head tucked down. Just trying to buy as much time as possible. Both these CTs on the approach with kits. And Zywu... Aware of the possibility, Flamesy just down beneath him, Rops! He can't manage! Zywu looking for yet another clutch! I think a fourth in this series! As Brokey's wounded and just on the Deagle, Zywu trying to press no. him down, finds his kill, but needs to find the bomb. It comes down to a matter of seconds, but Vitality, sure enough, post a seventh on the defense. Here for FaZe Clan. So they attempt to make that CT side road back to a map three. Now let's see what Zywu can do. He's leading the charge into the ramp. We've got dual Berettas in the pocket. Brokey shuts him down, but then it gets away from him. He's got a teammate trying to help him. Oh. Sure enough, tear him up. They put their players in position and they shred Vitality in the pistol. And uh, Rain can definitely go from zero to hero on CT side, but double swing from the pistols, he's dead. Oh, careful. Oh, man. You're playing Be fire. Careful. What? Be He's careful. Oh, Kerrigan. A taste of his own medicine. The trade back, but that's two players left. One spotted now. They can't afford this. Man. They, it's they were... got to be recovered by Robs. Oh, they were both known inside of hell. Robs down to 20 HP. They're going to need a savior. And Robs continues to be aggressive. Brokey's going deep into the lobby to make oh. sure that one's clear. Robs falls down beneath. There's SMGs to lose if you're Vitality. Oh! And they don't even lose another piece. Brokey peeks into the stream of 9mm. That's another big upgrade. All the while, Apex starts to take a glance up towards Upper. Brokey's gonna be out in the open, but he has a teammate towards Hut and another one on Main. It's Apex just playing with him a little bit. Flames has been bested on the one of three entries, and so suddenly this A site looks rock solid. Okay. A full denial. No chance here for Zywu. That's it. Now, he has support, and he has throughout the event, but he is still just above the else. 
He's starting to take some room over towards Trophy, so it's a very proactive one here from FaZe. Kerrigan comes into lobby and gets caught, though. Spinks with a great reposition, but that does allow for the double CT setup downstairs in sight. Rops using the silo as cover. Brokey, it's a one no. and Rops gets dinked and Sai takes it. his head off. Plenty of time as well for this bomb to go down with a double man advantage. Rain, does he try to press the issue? The lurker of the year. Looking to shut it all down too. Frozen's gun hits the ground. For me, even over Rops this year, you know, a lot of the lurkers this year have made strides, massive strides. Blame F has made massive strides. He's down to 43. Oh, now they're getting tied up. There's two pieces of resources there. The lurk continues to build. Oh, but Brokey, good awareness. Yeah. That, that was good aware. They had no idea he was out there. Just wary of the possibility. Kerrigan sits atop the door in a comfortable 5 e 3 Mezzi's going to clear it. What? Is a site open? Because you've got another player wrapping around oh! in heaven. And Zywoo. I mean, it's one thing to lose the 4v5, but this was three players left for Vitality. And they get heaven control. And a Molotov down into vent. That's going to deter Roth for the time being. No. Mezzi gets his. He keeps going. That pre-clear. After this round, and another beautiful default showing a lot of variety with their attacks. Slow, fast, getting away, getting into secret, and countering this particular defense that involved double secret. It's a great and call this for is... Vitality to just use the distance, use the gap, and honestly, keep abusing rain. Slow oh. series, and he loses his head to flames. <sighs> Zaiwu has an abundance of teammates nowadays to also bank on. Mezzi right behind him coming into the Grand Finals. Apex looking like he has just ran back years of lackluster fragging. And Apex has found a route into the A site just like that. 5v2. Because no matter how hard FaZe tried and no matter how great they looked at the dawn of CS2, their challenger has stepped forth and stomped them out not once, but seemingly twice. The bane of Kerrigan's existence as it felt like they were just going to run away with CS2. Spinks on full HP, ready inside of main. There is not a damn thing that FaZe can do. Brokey with an auto shoddy. It reeks of desperation and the greatness that Vitality bring to the server yet again. They've done it. That's the world final. The fall final. Gamers 8. Paris. And Rio, all in one year. They are indeed at the tail end of 2023. Your Blast World Finals Grand Champion. E aí, gostou dos melhores momentos de hoje? Não se esquece, as estatísticas estão aqui para você analisar. Pausa o vídeo caso você queira ver e acompanhar tudo certinho. Sua inscrição e seu like aqui embaixo é muito importante para a evolução do canal. Te vejo no próximo vídeo. Fui!